Good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing on tonight? Amen, amen. I know uh, it may not be well attended on tonight. I understand uh, everybody's situation. Amen, praise the Lord. Um, I know some are without power, so I know, you know, some, some of our phones are, are, are pretty much on 1%, 2%, 3%. Amen. Unless you're like me, uh, came charging uh, the the phone in the vehicle. <laughs> Amen. Uh, my prayers that you all felt fared well uh, with the weather uh, that we had just recently uh, this morning, and I pray that it all is well. Um, I, I know there was a lot of damage. Uh, I know there was a lot of power lines down, a lot of trees. Uh, you know, a lot of wind damage. Uh, but at the same time, we thank God. Um, I didn't hear of any reports of lives lost. Um, some may know uh, different from me, uh, but, you know, we can replace that stuff. Uh, but we thank God that he spared our lives. Amen. And, and praise the Lord. And so we just thank God on tonight. Um, those who may, you know, who may not watch tonight uh, may watch the replay. So, you know, we'll just go ahead and uh, go forward as usual. Um, so that uh, we can move forward in the Lord uh, because we do understand and know that even in these times, we need a word from the Lord. Amen and praise and praise the Lord. And uh, unfortunately, I'm still without power myself. <laughs> Amen. And so that's why you see me like, well, what pastor doing in the, in the vehicle? Why, 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 why is he in the vehicle? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I, I had to go somewhere where I was able to, uh, do the live and that, uh, I'll be able to still broadcast, uh, and it goes forward. Amen. Uh, as the Lord would have us to do it. So we just thank God for you all, uh, on this blessed evening. I'll do my shout outs on tonight. So, uh, just throw me a wave or say good evening or whatever. Amen. My beautiful wife. Sister Chantel, hey sweetie, how you doing? Sister Wood, good evening, good evening. Sister Emma, how you doing uh, on tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, that's the only ones I see uh, with their names. Amen. Have been posted. Uh, they, hey, Sister Nancy, how you doing on tonight? Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My mother-in-law, hey, how you doing, mother-in-law? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good to see you. Amen. Hey, Brother Craig, how you doing? God bless you. Amen, amen. Good to see you all on tonight. Amen. It's my prayer. Amen. That what is shared uh, blesses your life for the rest of your life. Amen. Uh, that is always, that is always my prayer uh, as we share what God lays apart on tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead. We'll share uh, a brief selection with you all. Uh, and then we're going to uh, get into the word of God. Amen. Something real quick. Amen. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I thank God. Amen. Uh, Sister uh, Delala, Sister Elmore. Amen. Sings this song. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to uh, do a short version uh, of it. Amen. Uh, I cannot do it justice like she does. Amen. Uh, because she's a different kind of musician. Amen. Uh, with her own style, with her own way. Amen. A blessing. Amen. Amen. A musical blessing. Amen. But at the same time, I'm going to share it as the Lord has laid it upon my heart. Amen. Jesus is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. Oh, Jesus is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. Oh, Jesus, yeah, is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. Oh, Jesus is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. If I walked away, the Lord wants me to walk. He'll show up in me. He'll show up in me. If I talk the way the Lord wants me to talk, it'll show up in me. It'll show up in me. If I pray the way the Lord wants me 
need to pray. It'll show up in me. It'll show up in me. If I sing the way that the Lord wants me to sing, it'll show up in me. It'll show up in me. Oh, Jesus is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. Oh, Jesus is the light that shineth in me, that shineth in me. Amen. God bless you on tonight. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the light that shineth in me. Amen. Even with an eclipse when the sun is not shining, even when the power is off. Amen. We have Jesus. Amen. We have his light shining within us. Amen. Uh, the old school would say uh, that the, the Lord gave it to me. Amen. And the world didn't give it and the world cannot take it away. Amen. And praise the Lord. So we just thank God for all his many blessings on tonight and we thank him amen for being so good so gracious so kind and so merciful uh unto us amen uh on tonight amen if you will i want you to turn your bibles amen uh to uh john the gospel of john uh we're going to take a look at chapter number 15 the gospel of john uh chapter number 15 and uh we're going to take a look at uh, one particular verse on tonight, but that verse uh, is connected to so many other verses uh, in this passage. Amen. And praise the Lord. So it would behoove us even after uh, the Bible study to go back to read, to study and see what thus saith, uh, see what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And praise the Lord. So we're going to take a look at uh, John chapter 15, uh, verse number five, John chapter 15, uh, verse number five. Amen. Uh, the word of God. Amen. Look what it says. It says this. It says, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Look what it says. It says, for without me, you can do nothing. Lord have mercy. I read it one more time. It says, I am the vine. Jesus is speaking. Amen. Uh, some Bibles, uh, you may have it written in red because Jesus is actually speaking here. It says, you are the branches. He's talking to those who are believers in Jesus to Christ, those who are his disciples, those who are God's chosen and children. Amen. He who abides in me and I in him. Look what it says bears much fruit. Watch. For without me, some translations say, apart from me, you can do nothing. My, my, my. The grass withered and the flower thereof fadeth away, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Let us pray on tonight. Dear God, we thank you this evening. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to hear what your word has to say. And we just pray, Lord, that you would allow your word to go forth, minister to our hearts. Lord, use your servant. Lord, fill him with your spirit. Lord, and allow, dear God, all that is said, all that is done. Lord, not just to be pleasing in your sight, but that it be actually what you want your people to hear on tonight. We thank you, dear God, once again. And we give you the praise, honor, and the glory that only you deserve. It is in the mighty, blessed, and precious name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord, our Savior, we do pray. Amen and amen again. Amen. Truly, God is good, and he is good all of the time. Amen. Um, when we take a look at uh, tonight's passage, uh, tonight's passage, we're going to uh, look at the idea of the subject. Um, we're going to take a look at the idea of no power. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I thought maybe uh, if we take a look, amen, praise the Lord, and what the word of God has to say uh, about that matter, amen, uh, we can get some perspective on that. Amen. No power. Amen. All throughout St. Landry Parish, uh, some of the other parishes possibly, um, we're all uh, trying to, you know, we're waiting, or some of us, not all, some are waiting 
Amen. And we're in anticipation uh, of, you know, getting lights on, the uh, the electricity working, amen, and, and, and praise the Lord, amen, being able to feel that air conditioning, and, and you know, we don't want our, our food to spoil in the refrigerator, so we, we, we're waiting for that, 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 that power, we're waiting for that uh, electricity, uh, and when we take a look at that whole concept, we've got to understand something, let's, let's just take a look at that whole idea, um, our homes are filled with outlets all around. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of you may have done it. I know I did it. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got light switches and we got plugs everywhere. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, even this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we use the gas. Amen. To uh, cook some breakfast. Uh, but that we had a little bit of leftovers. Amen. And so I, I, I'm fixing a, a nice, you know, uh, uh, some leftovers. I put some, put it in the plate and all. Put some whatever toppings I put on it. And I went to use the microwave. Lord have mercy. It was plugged in the wall. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The card was working. The microwave works. Amen. Praise the Lord. But without, without the power. Amen. Praise the Lord. That comes from the outlet. Amen. I had to eat some cold food. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, Pastor, why is that so important? It is very, very important. You've got to understand this one thing. We, just like that microwave. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just like that lamp. Amen. And praise the Lord. Just like that light, that light switch. Amen. Praise the Lord. Without the power of being connected to those items. Can I help you? The light is useless. Amen. The microwave is useless. Amen. Praise the Lord. You cannot use the light switch. That lamp is useless. Why? Because, amen, there's something, amen, missing. Amen. And what is missing is the power that comes from that outlet, that power that comes Amen. Praise the Lord from the wires that have been what strung all throughout that house. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you could have a a, a beautifully, amen, a, 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 a beautifully wired home. Amen. But without the electricity, Lord have mercy, you have, Lord have mercy, no power. Amen. And praise the Lord. So let's take a look at the text so that we, uh, you and I can see. Amen. What God wants us to see as it relates to that whole idea of no power, no power. Look what the word says. It says, I am the vine. All right. So Jesus is talking. He says, I am the vine. Amen. And so praise the Lord. Um, if you live in the country or, 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 or if you if you've grown anything or you've seen uh, vines grow and they wrap around whatever they're going to wrap around so that they can so that they can extend and grow. You know that that vine, amen, praise the Lord, that vine is what allows everything that's what branch off of it, amen, to exist. And so Jesus says that I am I am the vine. That is indicative of what? That is indicative of life. Amen and praise the Lord. Amen. He's not talking about a dead vine. He's not talking about, amen, something, amen, that just uh, is just there. No, that vine, amen, is living. Amen. It's living. Uh, if you go to uh, uh, verse 1, it says, I am the true vine. So he's letting us know. Really and truthfully, when we take a look at that whole idea of vine, vine represents the very thing that is going to keep all of the branches alive. Amen. And praise the Lord. So when we take a look at that vine, Jesus represents life. Uh, uh, Jesus represents power. Jesus represents, Lord have mercy, our, our, our source of of existence. Amen. And praise the Lord. So watch. Here's the thing. See, we can go back in the scriptures or look in the scriptures and, and where it talks about, you know, uh, 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 being connected, right? You cannot get oranges, amen, from an apple tree. You cannot get apples from an orange tree. So, so that vine, amen, indicates what type of branch, oh Lord have mercy, what type of branch you will have. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Jesus says what? I am the true vine. So watch. 
we all as Christians, amen, when we're connected to Christ, we are connected to the true vine, the real vine, the real source of power, the real source of our existence. Amen. And praise the Lord. So we've got to make sure we understand that whole idea of that vine. Amen. Jesus is the vine. And look what it says. You are the branches. So when we take a look at those branches, amen, and praise the Lord. These are not just random branches, right? When he says you are the branches, he's saying you are the branches that actually come from me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You are the branches that are connected to me. You are the branches, amen, that are spawned from my existence. Amen. And praise the Lord. So he's letting us know that guess what? You are connected to me. Amen. And praise the Lord. So watch what we've got to understand. We don't exist on our own. We don't self exist. Amen. We exist. We move. We have our being because we are connected what to the vine. Amen. To the true vine of Jesus the Christ. Look what he says. He says, you are the branches. So that means that guess what? We are connected to him. So watch his character. Amen. What he represents, who he is. Amen. We, amen, as branches, amen, represent the vine. Amen. So watch, our lives should look like we're connected to the vine. Our speech should look like we're what? Connected to the vine. Where we go, what we do, how we move, how we do what we do should look like we are connected to the true vine. Amen. Because why? We are the branches. Amen. So watch, look what it says. It says, he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Here's what you got to get. Look what it says. He who abides in me and I in him. Now watch. Here's the thing. That whole idea of abiding means to rest in, to stay. What? To remain or be what? Connected to. Amen. And praise the Lord. So he says, he who abides in me. So that whole idea of abiding means resting in. That whole idea of abiding means that there's a connection. That whole idea of abiding means that, guess what? We are connected to Christ in such a way to where, guess what? We live and move and have our being because of him. And he says, watch. He says, when you abide in me, when I abide in you, you will bear much fruit. See, this is the thing all of us have to remember. If we want to experience God-like results, if we want to experience God's best, if we want to experience the Lord moving in our life and to be able to see the results that only God can give, can I help you? You've got to understand that he's saying that you are the branches and if you remain, you remain connected. If you do my will, if you are there for my purpose, then you will bear, watch, much fruit. So watch, here's the thing. The fruit that you're going to bear, amen, is representative of the vine that you are connected to. Amen, praise the Lord. So guess what? Your works, the produce of your works, the things that you go out to do, God will bless it. I don't know about you. Amen and praise the Lord. But I want God-like results. Amen and praise the Lord. See, I could come up with a plan. I could come up with things and put things together and all this other stuff. But can I help you? I don't want cow-like results. No, no, no. I want God like results. I want results, amen, that only God can give. Amen. So watch. He says, if you abide in me and I in you, you're going to bear what? Much 
fruit. Amen. So that's why I tell people, amen, praise the Lord. Some people walk through life, amen, like they don't need nobody. Now, can I help you? You got to stay connected, amen. You got to stay connected to the source, amen. I'll use ch children for an example, amen. Some children walk around like they don't need nobody, don't need their parents, and this, that, and the other. They're, oh, I can't wait till I'm this or wait till I'm that. Can I help you? You better stay connected, amen, praise the Lord. Stay connected to the source, amen, praise the Lord. None of us live in this world alone. And as Christians, amen, we are to value our relationship with God. We are to value our connection with the Savior. We are to value being in sync with the Holy Spirit so that, watch, so that when we do what we do, God gets glory, amen, and praise the Lord, and he manifests himself, what, in our different ministries, amen, that we what, that we partake in. So watch, he says you will bear, watch this, much fruit. So watch, as a Christian, we ought to be productive. As Christians, we ought to yield results. As Christians, we ought to see some kind of profit in our lives. Now watch, I don't want to get, get it twisted. I don't want you to, amen, make this about, amen, money. Make this about you getting, you know, getting ahead and all this other stuff. That's not where I'm going with this. Amen. I am talking about there should be some productivity as it relates to you using and utilizing what God has put in your hands, what he has put in you in order to yield the results that bring him glory that yield the results that proclaims the name of Jesus the Christ, that yields the results where souls are saved, that yields results to where sinners come running to God, that yield results to where you disciple others, that yield results to where others are benefited by you utilizing what God has given you. And, and, and you yield results as it relates to your life. Amen. To where you will see your life change. You will see, amen, you going from point A to point B. You're better off 10 years, 15, 20 years later than you were before. Amen. You will yield fruit when you what? Remain and you are connected. Pastor, why is that so important? You've got to understand, we do not move as Christians in our own power. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. We ought to seek God in all that we do. I don't care if you're praying, if you're ushering, if you're singing, if you're going out and sharing the gospel of Jesus the Christ. Amen. You ought to seek God for what? For his power. Amen. That's an old saying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, it's not in the Bible, but yet at the same time, Praise the Lord. It is something that we can hold on to. It says much prayer, much power, no prayer, no power. Okay, preacher, could you actually share with me where I can look in the Bible? Well, go back. You can go to the Old Testament and look when the children of Israel and those of old sought the Lord. When they went to seek the Lord, the Lord allowed them God-like results that they would not have gotten if they would have leaned to their own understanding and done it what? Their own way. You've been reading the Bible uh, 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 for, for the year, and, and if you've been looking at how God used different individuals, amen, praise the Lord in the word of God, how if you go back to Gideon, you know how Gideon saw the Lord, and he only had, amen, a, a, a handful of people, 300, amen, to, to, to fight against millions. But God worked in such a way to where Gideon, what, he prayed, he saw the Lord, and he, he, he allowed the Lord to lead him. And guess what? The very army that he went to fight, they started to fight against themselves. Ain't nothing but God caused that to happen. Can I help you? You and I want God-like results when we do what God, what, wants us to do. We don't want to be out on that. We don't want to be out doing it, what, on our own. Amen. It's not just you coming up with a good plan. It's you allowing God to lead you and guide you. Amen. And steer you, what, 
in the direction because you want to what? You want to, the, the kingdom of God to advance. You want the word of God to go forth. You want the sinner to be saved. You want God's work, what? To be done. Amen. And in order, amen, to see the best results, you've got to remain connected, be what? Be on fire for the Lord and seek him what? In all you do. Here we go. Look what it says. He bears much fruit, but look what you've got to understand. It says, for without me, oh, Jesus, Jesus says, for without me, he says, without me, huh, he says, you can do nothing. Lord have mercy. What does that mean? It just means this. Apart from Christ, we can do nothing. Apart from Jesus, we can do nothing. Apart from his power, we can do nothing. I went to turn that microwave on this morning. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Press the button. Amen. Praise the Lord. Went to operate it as normal. Amen. Praise the Lord. And nothing happened. Oh, Lord have mercy. Jesus is saying this. Apart from me. You can do nothing. Amen. And praise the Lord. And he's referring to doing God's work. Amen. Doing the will of God and yielding the results that God, what? That God wants for your life. Amen. And praise the Lord. So what? He says, without me or apart from me, separate from me. Amen. Doing it by yourself, he says, you can do nothing. Amen. And praise the Lord. So you've got to understand that the world has a way. Amen. But at the same time, we have to make sure, we have to be very sure that we are what? We are in sync with what God is doing. We are speaking and talking to God. We are listening for his voice. Amen. We are walking and talking with God so that we can what? So that we can yield what? Some what? Much fruit. Amen. In our lives as it relates to what God wants for us to do. Um, if you go to our uh, second Timothy uh, chapter three, Amen. It talks about that we're living in perilous times. You know, it talks about different things. Amen. Uh, as it relates to the different uh, type individuals uh, they're going to have uh, in the last days. Now, it's not my intention to go through the list, but there's 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 a there's a there's one type of, of individual that that the Bible talks of in that passage in chapter number three. It says this. It says having a form, watch this, a form of godliness, but denying its power. Oh Lord, I'll say it one more time. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. What does that mean? They know, amen, what to do to try to show that they know the Lord. They, they know the right words to say, amen. <laughs> they, they, they know how to act like they know the Lord. They, they, they know how to maybe pray a prayer that may impress somebody. They, they, they know, amen, praise the Lord, uh, uh, how, how, to, how, to, how to do some, some good things that resemble what Christians should do. But look what it says. It says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Okay, preacher, help me out. It's like this. You can do the right thing for all the wrong reasons and you can do the right thing with all the wrong intentions and you can do what seems right to man without the very presence and power of God in what you are doing. I'll say it one more time. Amen. You can do what seems to be right. Amen. Without the very power and presence 
of God. Preacher, help me out with that. Let me help you. It's not just about having, oh, it was a nice program. It's not just about saying, oh, we had a good time. It's not just saying, oh, that was nice. No, it's about was God in the place? Did God get the glory? Was God in the middle of what was going on? Amen. Praise the Lord. Was God in the middle of the plans? Is God getting the recognition? Is God Amen. Kingdom being what benefited and the kingdom of God being advanced, not just having what a form of godliness, but no walking in the power of God. Lord have mercy. And you and I, we do not want to walk powerless. Amen. And praise the Lord. We want to walk. Amen. Saturated. Amen. In the God, amen, to be able to what? To yield the power that only he can give. And you've got to understand, in order to do that, you've got to seek him. In order to do that, you've got to get in sync with him. In order to do that, you've got to you got to go after him to know what it is that what that he wants you to do in your life. Why? Because if you do it without him, amen, the results that you get, can I help you? He's not blessing those results. Amen. So what, what do you want me to get, Pastor? This is what I want you to get. You don't want to just, amen, live life. <laughs> you don't want to just go through life saying, amen, praise the Lord. Oh, well, I, I, I did, you know, I did, you know, such and such and this and that and the other and the other. Right? I, I did some good stuff. Amen. I, 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 you know, I. I help a few people along my way. I, I did a little bit of something here and a, a little bit of something there. No, can I help you? You want to walk in the power. Lord have mercy. You want to walk in the power that only God can give. You and I want God-like results. I don't know about you. Amen, praise the Lord, but I serve a God that's awesome. I serve a God who woke us all up this morning. I serve a God who created the heavens and the earth. I serve a God who can heal the sick, give sight to the blind, who can make the lame man walk. Amen, praise the Lord. I serve a God, amen, praise the Lord, who reigns, rules, and controls the entire universe. I serve a God who's all powerful. So can I help you? We ought to seek to walk in his power to see a manifestation of what he's going to do. Never walk through life. Amen. Not expecting to see God do something. And watch this. You and I should, Lord have mercy, you and I should want to see God use us in a way to where, guess what? We can say this. It was nothing but God that done that, amen, through me. It, it was only the grace of God that allowed me to do this that way. It was only the power of God that allowed me to accomplish what I accomplished. God wants us to live lives to where we see results, amen, in our life. Praise the Lord in his power and in his might, right? in the power of his might, because the Bible says without him. Apart from him, separate from him, we can do nothing. That just means we're not going to yield the results that God wants us to yield. So we've got to tap into that power that only God can give. And can I help us? It's going to require us. Help me, Holy Spirit. It's going to require us to deal with some sin in our life. Ooh, you said that, Pastor. I sure did. It's going to it's gonna cause us, amen, to deal with some issues we got going on with us. Amen. It's going to cause us to confront some stuff that we need to confront in our lives. Amen. And praise the Lord so that God can use us in such a way. Amen. Praise the Lord that he never, ever used us before. And God showed me this a long time ago. God can use you in some of the most weakest moments in your life. After you feel broken, after you feel as though, amen, you're not strong. And Paul said that when I am weak, <laughs> hey, I am strong. And God just wants you to go to him, lay it at his feet and say, Lord, he <laughs> used me for your glory. Lord, have mercy. But we want to walk in his power and in his might 
so that we can yield the results that only he can yield in our lives. Amen. You and I should never ever live lives to where we don't want to see God use us. Amen. We should never live lives to where we don't want to see God manifest himself in our life to his glory. We ought to want to see God manifest himself through us as we do his work. And Jesus said, and apart from him, you can do what? Nothing. Amen. And praise the Lord. So guess what? If you're seeking to serve God, you better stay connected. If you're seeking to give God what he deserves, amen, you better you better remain. If, if, if you're seeking to do the will of God, amen, praise the Lord, you better get in sync with his word and with his will and with his way. Because you got to understand, there are some that have a form of godliness. They're really not converted. They really don't know the Lord. They just want to be attached, amen, praise the Lord, in such a way, or associated in, in, in such a way to where it seems as though they are. But can I help you, praise the Lord, when we are truly connected, amen, when we are truly in sync, when we, we are truly abiding in the Lord, our lives will be filled with what? Purpose. Not just what? Not just practice and performance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our lives will be filled with purpose. Amen. When you get up in the morning, God will share some things he needs you to do on that day. God will minister to your heart and reveal to you some things, amen, that you didn't see about yourself. God will use you in ways, amen, praise the Lord. <laughs> Lord, have mercy that you've never seen him use you before. That's when you're walking, amen, in such a way to where you're connected, amen. So watch, doesn't mean you're perfect because guess what? All of us got to go to God with all our junk, with all our stuff. But can I help you? God wants some sincerity. God wants us to be sincere. God wants us to be at a point to where when we know we out of line, we get in line. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's not just a form of godliness. It's not just me saying, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm connected to that. Oh, yeah, I'm associated with that. No, God don't want some of you. He want all of you. Amen. So he says what? If I abide in him and he in me. Then, oh Lord, what were you saw to that preacher? It's in your, it's in your Bible. If you had not torn it out, if, if I abide in him and he abide in me, amen, then he will bear what much fruit, amen, and praise the Lord. God bless you, saints of God, amen. I know you may not have no power in the house, <laughs> Lord have mercy, but you ought to have the power of God, amen, living and dwelling in you on tonight. Amen and amen again. And it's my prayer that you and I would even use this time to see God. Read that word. Pray. Amen. Sometimes God shuts some stuff down. Woo! Amen. So we can offer up some stuff up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So guess what? Take this time. Amen. To be rejuvenated. Take this time to seek God. Take this time to read that word. Take that time to get closer to God. Amen. And praise the Lord so that you can prepare. Amen. To be used in a way that you never thought you could be used. Amen. And praise the Lord. Because can I help you? God gave each one of us something. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some going to yield much fruit. Some going to yield much, much fruit. Some going to yield much, much, much fruit. But can I help you? It don't matter. He wants you to yield much fruit. Amen. And praise the Lord with your life. Amen. God bless you, saints of God. Amen. God bless you. And may God keep you. I know some of y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord having some phone issues. Some are not on because of phone issues. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why I'm sitting in the car. <laughs> Amen. But I say, you know what? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do what we got to do in Jesus name. Amen. And so it's my prayer that you are blessed on tonight. It's my prayer. Amen. That the word of God ministered to you on tonight. It's my prayer that you and I would realize we are connected to the true vine. <laughs> Amen and praise the Lord. And can I help you? He's the sustainer of our lives. He's the provider of our lives. Amen. He 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 gives us our very existence. Amen and praise the Lord and he will allow us to be productive. Amen as believers in Jesus the Christ. Amen and praise 
the Lord. God bless you, saints. I pray you are blessed on tonight. Amen and praise the Lord. And I pray to God, amen, that you would go back, that you would read the word, and that you would allow the word to minister to your hearts. I want to pray with you, saints of God, on tonight. And I pray, amen, for each and every one of you, amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you tonight. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your people. And Lord, we thank you for just watching over us on tonight. We pray for those that may be sick on tonight in their bodies, dear God. And we just pray, Lord, that you touch tonight, heal and move tonight. Lord, we pray for those, Lord, who may, Lord, have troubles in their mind on tonight. Touch tonight. Move tonight. Regulate their thoughts, dear God, and allow them to stay fixed and focused on you, your word, your will, and your way. And, Lord, if they don't know you as their Savior, Lord, that you would just take them, Lord, and that you would just use them, dear God, and use their mind, dear God, to be able to share with them that you love them, dear God. And to share with them, dear God, that you sacrifice on Calvary's cross for their sins. And Lord, that you would just allow them to repent and be converted. Lord, we pray tonight, Lord, for those, dear God, who are struggling on tonight financially, Lord. Whatever it might be, Lord, touch tonight, move tonight, and allow them to experience your grace and your mercy. Somebody on tonight, dear God, Lord, is struggling. They're confused. They need some answers. Give them what they need, Lord, in this moment, in this season in their life so that they know exactly what they need to do, Father God. We pray tonight, Lord, there are those, dear God, who are without power, those who have damage to their homes, those who have been affected by this storm. Dear God, we just pray, Lord, that you would have mercy and that you would move, Father God. But Lord, we want to praise you on tonight because, Lord, if there were any reports of, Lord, harm done to anybody, it was not many. And so, Lord, we're going to thank you for that. Lord, we know, Lord, that poles have been snapped. We know, dear God, that, Lord, trees, Lord, and branches have fallen. But yet, Lord, you spared our lives. And, Lord, we say thank you. We shout on tonight, Father God, because, Lord, you are a grace, graceful, Lord, and merciful God, dear God. And we thank you on tonight, dear God, for all. All that you have done for us on this evening. Thank you, dear God, for your grace and your mercy, dear God. We pray right now. We pray for St. Mary that you would just touch her right now. Move on her right now. Help us, Lord, collectively and individually, Lord, to remember you put us here to be the church Help us to be the church, Lord, abiding in you and doing your will. Thank you tonight for your word. Thank you for your people. And I pray right now, dear God, that you just have thine own way. We love you. And we know we cannot make it without you, Lord. You're good. You're merciful. And you are mighty. It's in the mighty, blessed, and precious name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, we do pray. And all that love the Lord said, amen. God bless you, saints of God. Real good uh, is my prayer. Amen. I pray you are blessed on tonight. Amen. And just remember this one thing. Whatever you do, go out and tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. God bless you, saints of God. Amen. Be good. Be blessed. Amen. It's my prayer. These lights come on real soon. But at the same time, amen, we are going to be patient and wait on the Lord. That's all we can do. Pray and wait. <laughs> amen. Pray and wait. I know some of y'all like, Paz, I just pray. I don't have to wait too long. <laughs> amen. Myself. I can't lie. Uh, but at the same time, we are going to pray uh, that God would allow some things to move and shift so that we're able uh, to get connected, amen, and get that power, amen, and feel that cool air, <laughs> amen, praise the Lord, and and, 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 and do the things uh, that we would normally do. Uh, but we thank God for you all sharing and being on the, uh, on the live on tonight, and I pray you are richly, richly, and truly, truly blessed. Good night, y'all. Love you, amen. God love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Good night, y'all.